Before the 2022 season, Noah Sewell was seen by many as the best linebacker in the 2023 draft class and a likely first-round pick. A down year in both production and on tape has caused Sewell to slip in the eyes of many. Is Sewell still the guy people thought he once was, or was last year a more accurate reflection of his ability? Find out on this two-minute drill. Noah Sewell, despite the narrative surrounding his poor 2022 season, does have some very translatable traits to the next level. Sewell is big for an off-ball linebacker, weighing in around 250 pounds. He plays big on tape, too. He's not one to shy away from contact, and often seeks it out. Sewell is excellent at getting downhill and run support, and is very effective as a blitzer, too, be it as a free rusher or coming off the edge. Additionally, Sewell does an excellent job of spying mobile quarterbacks. He's patient and knows when to attack the quarterback to keep him contained and make the play. Sewell also does some nice work in zone coverage. He's got the ability to backpedal effectively into his zone and is able to quickly break towards the ball when it's thrown. That being said, Sewell is a very flawed prospect. His speed and lateral mobility are okay at best, and he doesn't have the athleticism to hang with receivers in man coverage as a result. While he's better in zone, his coverage ability there is still inconsistent. Sewell also struggles to shed blockers. He can get downhill, but isn't able to get off blocks frequently enough. Sewell severely struggles as a tackler. He doesn't have great mechanics there and often fails to wrap up, as shown by his career missed tackle rate of around 15%. Sewell also takes poor angles to the ball, often overcommitting and taking himself out of the play. My pro comparison for Noah Sewell is A.J. Klein of the Buffalo Bills. Klein was also a bigger linebacker coming out of Iowa State, and he had a similar profile to Sewell, that of an aggressive downhill linebacker who could stop the run and play zone coverage, but lacked the athleticism to be a true do-it-all linebacker at the next level. While Klein has bounced around a few teams this year, he's been a serviceable starter slash rotational player since being drafted in 2013. I do think Sewell has a bit more upside than Klein did, but he has a lot of work to do to reach that. Sewell definitely hurt his stock in 2022, but I do still think there's a good player somewhere in there. He's probably best suited to play in the middle of a 3-4, but I think he could play either inside or out in a 4-3 scheme as well. Sewell is likely a mid-round player, but he has the potential to outplay his draft slot if he's able to refine his game a bit. And that's the two-minute drill.